roster changes. Maybe that can be tomorrow's news. Yeah, exactly. We'll bite our tongues because we've got another one to shout about. It's Mirage and we're getting straight to the pistol Yo! round. My goodness, here we go. Already, Carrigan on towards the bench position. Mir's on the flank, five to five still. No blood drawn as Bomb does go down. Digits punched in courtesy of Frozen. Mir's putting bullets into the head of Rops. Looking for a second as well. Chris J could get overrun here from the short position, but nice precise work on the Glock. Keeps the numbers in favor of Mouse. Numbers, of course, from GG.bet seem to favor that of Spirit. But three on three, Beamus dealing with the kit player. That's SDY, drops it down in the kitchen position. Getting a bit overwhelmed here, Frozen. Does tuck in. Time's on their side now, and a great shot from Bemis. Mouseports taking the pistol. Team Spirit took the first map. Mouseports off to a start, and a dream start here on their Mirage. So if Nico joins that team, Phase is basically dead. I suppose so, yeah. Maybe Yanko will come back. Ooh. <gasps> oh. The return. The reunion. Definitely. So I'd love we get, you know. Bad Yanko, good Chado. Just those two <laughs> constantly. Yeah. It, was, it was quite. Well, you've heard about Chank. Have you ever heard about Chanko? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, damn! Just a little bit of venom yeah, on the end exactly. of it. Exactly. I just say I can have. I can see those two just arguing all day <laughs> about how Counter Strike's meant to be played. But yeah, conversation for another day. At this point in time, Spallant smoked off. He might throw a pot shot through on timing of his own internal clock. They're pushing for ramp info. They'll find nothing. SDY at the moment with nothing to report. Mir's pulled out the Mag 7. It's certainly a prime location for it to do damage. They might find Rops here, depending on the timing. I should need to fix your bloody HUD again. You miss up short. This is the Mag 7 jewel that Mir's been waiting for. Oh, God. Oh. I have no idea. Oh, Magix has gone down, though. There could have been a little bit of a, a time buyer. There's one. Oh, that's ambitious. No, oh, stop it. Stop. S stop. Harry, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not liking that Chopper anymore. might be okay, but oh, okay, never mind. The flank from Rops nah. is even better. Just, just both of them around the world. Awkward rotations and ratty positions, but all that matters is that the bomb is down and Mouseports have the site under wraps. There could be a bit of damage done. The rifles still stand, of course, for the T's, and they'd love to keep those up. If they lose any of them, that might be not a big issue, but it's obviously not ideal. Yeah, some of the things that we can note with what we've seen on Team Spirit on this map, on the CT side especially, watch out for Mir jumping through the window, landing over towards the, uh, I don't, the short position. The railing, he likes to sit himself on that block using the smoke as a one-way. Team Splashes will come on through. He peeks his little head up and gets a multi-kill. So that's one little move there that we know Team Spirit like to run. On their CT side as well, they can play quite retake. They do enjoy playing retake on that A-bomb side. And if you are mouse sports and you're aware of this, one of the things you should be looking to do is take away connector and jungle control to make the retakes even harder for Spirit as uh, they want to play more passive over towards that side of the map. And that was about all she wrote right there was Mir. Now, the thing is, it was great that he let them slink past and had the info, but also kind of the reason Magic's died over towards the B side of things. So selling him down the river without a paddle. So quick, quick note, Alex, was Spirit the team that had that really bad statistic on buy rounds? On yes, the they had okay, a T-side okay. conversion in Pro League of 38%. Got it, all right. Buys. Just wanted to try and make sure that was the right team. So obviously there has been a lot of Counter-Strike. Um, Certainly. <laughs> but right now we got Deagles out, P250, a nade or two, but it really is not much. Shouldn't be too many dramas here whatsoever. Ooh, okay, hold up. Mears has something to say about that. I just bounced and picked up the rifle. Pressure applied. Christian, he might go down. There's another one coming on through. It's Excuse me? A 2v5, just like that. Oh, wow. What a turnaround. Bomb down. Bemis, only a Galil. Wants to try and dig himself out of this hole. Frozen alongside for the ride and an AK for retrieval. I don't want to make that sound cue just yet. Frozen opts for the reload as he has to work on some form of flank. Bemis does grab himself the AK and a bomb. Frozen's called be clear, so Bemis now trying to find a safe passage back to the undefended site. Frozen working on a lot of information here. A two versus five required from Mouseport's young guns. <sighs> Chopper could do some work here. Bemis being very quiet about his maneuvers, though. Trying to stay cool, calm. Spots bomb. Didn't get the timing he'd have loved on that. Winnable now. Does indeed make it very winnable. 
Bear in mind that we do have Frozen posted up quite well towards B. He'd cleared as he went. The trade out goes in. So we do see the Galil heading towards Sundai Young. Nicely armored up, of course. Magic's without, but AK is not bad. Whichever way you want to cut it. So it's retake time with four no kits, though. So it's got to be quick, and Frozen's going to be the first. And Mia? the last. Mary, are you kidding me? Four kills that round. The first, I don't think we saw. The last two, we didn't see because you're not meant to win those rounds. You're not meant to have a Deagle with nine HP and do that. Uh, he got the first kill over towards Palace, which gave I disbalanced the Galil to find the second kill over towards Ramp. Then he picked from top of stairs and killed the individual who was there to trade off of Chris J. And then just runs into the B site, not a single care in the world, and finds those two frags. So this is the first one, Galil down. Second one, about to re-pivot. You can see there in the kill feed taking down Carrigan. And here's the last two, just running in. No dramas. Oh, yeah. Easy as you like. Mir the monster. Poof. Yeah, the miracle machine. All right. Well, Mouse Force will be able to get the guns back out. But that's an early round for Spirit to be posting on the board, all things considered. Went into that with Peanuts. Come out with the whole circus. Disbalance continuing to run away with this. A squeak of Chris J's nose. Full send, isn't it, though? Yeah, but look how much space they've previously had. It looks like Disbalance has managed to knock them off their perch, and there's only three of them now gathering towards this B site. The corner of Magix is the most powerful of the lot. The smoke fades. Oh, God, he just catches him as it fades. He gets the info on the map. Frozen's in that headshot position, hoping that SDY will provide, but it's going to be nades instead. And another round that's going to grind to a halt. Now Sports just slowly whittled away into a round loss. Oh, You're missing a whole smoke with that attack right there. I'm just watching it back on Skybox. They had only one of the two pillar smokes up. They'd used Did they one... miss it or was it just not? It wasn't thrown. Oh, there just... was one over towards the window, one towards back of Cat to sell their mid fake. BMS used a smoke to get himself out onto the site and frozen there through the left side pillar smoke. So, uh, curious one right there. Just give her another watch back. Just double check, make sure that it wasn't missed. Mm. Yeah, it, it wasn't missed, but they didn't throw it. It just didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we, we're still looking at mouse sports with a bit of a question mark. We've seen what they can achieve, but there are going to be markers where things are a little out of source. Maybe there was intention to it, maybe not. Whatever it may be, this round looks pretty wrapped up. Rops the last one. We've seen Mir do great things with the deal, but it's very hard to instigate those moments, especially on the T side. So down to 8 HP. Should be all but over. Quite like those gloves though, Ropsy. Quite like them. I wonder if that means Cold Zero is going to go hook up again with um, Fallen and Fur and stuff. Oh, God. Well, you know. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Well, why not? If he moves back to Brazil or, or whatever, because yeah. right now he's living in Serbia, right? True. So. Maybe the reshuffle of that re-roster of what, you know, whatever they try and pull together could be if you can, I, like, uh, tasty. Yeah, I think Cold is obviously still one of the best Brazilian players 100%. outside of Furia. There's even more players, like Reigns available now, Brokey's looking sick. I wonder if Cloud9 now goes, hmm, that's a couple more maybe around. Kierby screwed. Oh, God, I didn't even think of Kierby. Bloody hell, what a cursed choice he's been making. If this is all true, Barry Man, this all comes through, but... Yeah, it's normally true. It normally is, but we'll, we'll wait for, for more word here. As we do see the hit coming in through Palace, and on for one trade out, but it's Idis Balance to hold the back line. Yeah, this is getting scary now for Mouse. They can change it, though. Carrigan wants to plant. SDY should contest that. I'm surprised he hasn't. He lets that go down. And now with a bomb, frozen frag and disbalance. There's a real world where this does not achieve too much. Mir, though, always good for one. And now SDY reveals his location. And that's the way Spirit likes to do things. Neat, tidy, three left standing. Good plan from Mouse Sports. It means that with these rounds that have been posted on the board now, a buy will be possible once more. But it's just going to be the bare minimum. So maybe they want to try and get an orb up and see if they can find picks through that avenue. That would now mean Mac 10s, Tech 9s, Deagles, that kind of a buy with utility once more. They have tried the B bomb site. Maybe they could head back over there with more pace behind it. Get down those smokes that I was talking about so I Disbalance cannot pick them off the catwalk. But I think if we see Spirit posting 10 rounds on their CT side, maybe even nine. You could see a 2-0 here today. The T side, it's been getting better the more we've watched mm. it. Nice. Nice mid dealt with. Molly as well. Back on him, but keep in mind the weaponry for the T's is subpar. Galil, Deagle, Techers. 
And the Tech-9 locked in at the top of midfield. It's not ideal. Carrigan's been caught and there's no getting away with it now. Looks like maybe a pivot back towards A as we do see Rob still towards Palace. And if he gets that pick, it's game back on. Maybe a plant comes in and we can start that conversation if it actually happens, though. Look at the right now for Spirit, though, Lauren. Oh, they're laughing. This is the best though you've seen them look this early on in, in a Mirage. I was a little bit worried when I saw this coming out. But you know what? So far, so good. Frozen and Rob's so difficult to find any room here, and it is a retake setup from Spirit on the site. They're more than happy to give up a SDY would have too many positions to cover off on his own, so giving them enough rope to hang themselves here. Once they know that the bomb will be going down, you can see Chopper ready to rotate over. High disbalance will be close as well. Just clearing out all the naughty angles. Curious They're playing a smart game here, aren't they, Spirit? Mm. They don't want to give away anything. And SDY could get caught. He has been spotted, so that's a big frag, and that's the one they needed. This is where usually they come alive. You can see Chopper's opted to descend to pick himself up. I thought he'd pick up the kit. He actually didn't go that far, so one less kit for the retake. Shouldn't have any ramifications here. Frozen picking up a smoke likely does, though. He's thinking about dropping at CT. I like the idea of that, but... Magix is taking his time on his arrival. And that's perfect. Tucks himself in. Oh, but gets the frag onto Magix. Now this 2v4 becomes all the better. Rops with one. Disbalanced to clutch. He knows Frozen was last spotted CT, but Frozen always played the game perfectly. Just tucks it on the trip. Oh, what a reaction. Has he got the defuse? He's got... Oh, oh. No, oh. one half a second too slow, but damn, disbalance. <sighs> Impressing us. Why not? Hitting shots like that, that's going to turn many ahead and pops one off from Frozen. Bloody hell. Let's see that one again. God, he was just a millisecond too shy on that one. Getting onto the bombing, knew he had to close the gap. Fastest reactions as well. Oh, so close. Look how close this was. Green. Uh, I would say I would say less than half a second. That's his point three. That's a frustrating round to lose. A four on two. With only the partial investment. That was Galil's tech nines. It wasn't an all-in. The all-in was this round. This is what they were saving for. So Mouseport's pulling a rabbit out of the hat right there and Or a habit out of a rat. Rats can have habits. I hope they, you know, do better soon. Lock in, lock out towards B. B mass, Chris J, try to have a little bit of a dabble. E Carrigan's oh, got that Carrigan. disbalanced flick. Uh, <laughs> down 100%. Let's see if he can get some more, though. He's going for some close quarters. He's having a bit of a mare here. And that was Carrigan trying to take matters into his own hands. And Frozen, perhaps, is more capable. Jumping into Magix. Doesn't have the shots. Three kills again from Magix. I'm, I'm fast becoming convinced by the Team Spirit roster on certain maps. It's a good one for the CT side recovery and puts Mouse Sports on nothing. But let's not forget there is the T side from Team Spirit ahead of us, which has previously had its fair share of issues. So Team Spirit getting these CT rounds, they're going to want to make sure they don't let any crazy ones slip away in the same way that Mouse Sports have. I think across both maps, Chad, we've seen at least one instance of Mouse Sports losing to USPs or Deagles and mm. Scouts. Yeah, I think they have a more volatile style of play at the moment. and buttoning down all of those type of rounds when you're giving a lot of freedom to your rifles to take space. Difficult to do. Maybe they can bounce back with another miracle round of their own. Lauren, have you um, casted Draken in uh, Valorant? Once, I believe. Does he still have the 30 degree window problem or is the bigger models a bit easier for him to hit? <laughs> uh, I haven't seen enough of it, but I did try and sell that storyline and honestly... It... Kind of worked. Yeah. You got it across the line? Still applies, yeah. I loved his tweet about Valorant. It made me real happy. What did he say? Just trying to compare our beautiful game with that. I mean, it's probably fine to have two FPS games in the same space. It hopefully breeds a good outcome for Counter-Strike, having to, you know, maybe pick up a little bit in certain areas. And obviously, you know, the other game, it gets to be able to kind of try and base itself on something that's lasted for, what, over 10 years in a competitive manner. 20. Yeah, fair enough. I guess 20. We'll, we'll, we'll Don't go. forget Heaton. You're going to upset Heaton? <laughs> Would I ever? It's Potty's birthday today, Lauren. You want to upset him as well? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. All right. 20 years. No, it's good to have competition. It makes, uh, it makes oh, everything I like improve. It. We like to see it. Good fun and games. Competition breeds innovation. Yeah. 
They just double smoke, smoke cat. Thing. Yeah, so this is... Uh, is this ooh. just like teething problems for a new potentially, roster? Potentially, potentially. There's no reason to be double smoking that position that I'm aware of. But this is that mere spot I was talking about. Jumps out window. Gets himself tucked on in. Plays over the smoke as a bit of a one-way. They're more than happy to wait for these to clear because there is a timer on this. Mir has to drop on down. And Beamus, he might actually have the frag over the top of the box. So well aware. Is good pick from Beamus. <laughs> you see his corpse just landing in front of Chris J. Like, okay, well, that's confirmed. <laughs> Definitely, as he's doing some Pilates in the staircase. Boosting up. Remaining silent. Taking some liberties now on Mouse Sports. Balance on the rotate, realizing assistance required. SDY on Ram, Chopper, Palace. They're coming from Connector. Whose responsibility is that? It should have been disbalances, but this is a gap. This is a big gap. They're all coming. And Chopper's already been caught. Oh, so many targets. It's overwhelming. SDY does well to find one. Disbalance has his back covered. He tugs in. Throws it spotted. Oh, SDY eliminated. When the words of Rush, homicided. Magix. Brain. Oh! That's Brain on two, and now Chris J's gone. From Brained to Rained on the parade, and now, ooh, could have been the frag. Bomb needs to be retrieved, though. He's doing well already. Disbalance confirms the location. And damn, Frozen landing on the back of his neck. Seven to three. Uh, so much cash, Chad. It's getting to the point now where Team Spirit have got enough cash for the rest of the half. Yeah, this is problems for Mouse Sports because they're... Already down a massive hole, seven to three. There's those double smokes. You can just see them. Still the opening went in their favor. This was all magic ducking under that AWP. I thought that was fantastic work. His flank and the way that he took territory is what allowed I Balance to rotate over a little bit early. But your point there, Alex, to do with the money. If Team Spirit managed to keep, you know, three alive in the majority of these rounds, they're going to be looking hot to trot as this half tickles on forward or trickles. You could tickle it. Could tickle. I'd imagine it more of a trickle. They are very poised here. Kerrigan could do something quite fun with that Tech 9 if uh, Chopper's a little unaware. We'll see. Wow. He didn't really do much. Fair enough. No I worries. love the orcs. Look how good it is. Chad, they I just never get normal kills. So you always go, oh, the orc guys. The orcs out. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. I heard you the first time. It got nerfed, right? And everyone was like, well, we don't want to use it anymore because it's been nerfed. Yeah. Right? That's what they said. It's still very viable. It was always still very viable afterwards. People were just Counter-Strike players. It's because they nerfed yes, the org, the scope accuracy, which feels counterintuitive, right? When you're like, oh, well, this weapon has a scope. It's the only defining feature of it. And then they nerfed the new feature of it, the reason you would have bought it over the M4. It's easy to make the logical, quote-unquote, logical decision to, to assume it's worse. But, of course, what was forgotten? Oh, oh the hip fire accuracy. It was chopper to get the first two, mere mantling over the smoke for the last. And now mouse boards again. Left scratching their heads, hands down their pants. Just waiting for this round to end. Rush, good job catching that smoke, by the way. Thank you. I uh, didn't catch me as deagles, though, so... Is that um, a player graffiti, or is that always on Mirage, that red thing on the right? I'll have a look in one minus second. Yeah, just do your thing. Rocks to not kill no. two. Just do the round rush. Maybe on, I can rush. just... Uh, have you ever cast a 1v5? Was it over here? Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> to your left, yeah, just to your left. Oh, I can go there. there. Yeah, that thing over there, on your left. Uh, left, that's right, there we go. Okay, so it was a player one, it's gone. Okay, yeah. It, it, it must have been like there. a red easy or something. <laughs> it looked like a great place to line up nades, but clearly not. I still think that's one of the coolest things Valve has done, though. Like, kind of, like, they've done a lot of cool things, but I, I love that they, like, immortalize these great moments. Oh, the graffiti? I think yeah. they're brilliant. I love that. Like, how cool is it that, as I said, maybe 10 years from now, you go to Marsh, like, what is that on the wall? Or, you know, oh, what is this on Overpass? And you're like, oh, actually, that's, as I said, like this, like, the jumping double from Cold! Exactly. Like, Echoing through the hallways so every time. Cool. I love the fact that it, it, it's, it's in the game, right? It's a tangible thing that now <sighs> is like made into history. I, yeah. I love that. No, and it's the same with the stickers. I think yeah. it's really cool because if you've dedicated your life to a game to the point mm. where you've managed to qualify for the major event, I think the least they can do is immortalize your gamer nickname Absolutely. that you've had since you were a, a Wii gamer. Yep. And now, you know, so any, cool. every, everyone who has uh, idolized your been inspired by you can represent your gamer nick and the team of course as well i think that's really cool big part of this uh, community feel that valve's games tend to operate on i mean yeah. this is literally just a community mod of a game that valve bought 
I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it builds legacy in the game. Right? Here we go, Rops. I like this. I've got a good feeling. Boom! Headshot. Feelings are right, Alex. They're bang on. By this balance, kept in check. Game on this round. Yeah, this is going to get really messy, but Carrigan caught in middle. League have had very strong retakes so far. Rops could do it all, though. Oh, 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 oh. he's playing with fire in the open. Magic's punish. Beamer's only a deagle and the Kevlar vest. Frozen rotating in to do his best. We do have the flank coming in from Mir, and already Beamus tagging down one. He does do some trivial damage. Frozen, 54 points of health and a desert eagle. 50 caliber rounds required. <laughs> and here comes Mir in three, two, and there we go. I love that. That Molotov, knowing that Mir was coming for the flank, is more just to bait Frozen into looking in their direction. It's such great stuff to see. It's the micro game that I am enjoying on Counter Strike. God, I don't, I don't suppose you know what uh, the name of that skin is there. Uh, Print Stream. Print Stream. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you want to get one of those, um, CS Money are gonna hit CS, me up. I don't know. I, I, sales of them been turning my calls. I followed them on Twitter and they didn't follow me back. They didn't follow you back. No. Guys, I had two, two very big retweets recently. Really? Archelect retweeted my, oh. my, photogra my photography. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so nice. the AI that's got an eye. I love the just like weird anime they sometimes post. Exactly. Aesthetic, though, yes, it's, yeah. well, it's funny because it's like an artificial intelligence that's got taste. Mm. And um, But he, they did a tweet saying like, show me your art. And I sent some of my favorite snaps. And, they they, and uh, it was retweeted. So that was oh, cool. That's cool. One of my What's idols. One? And um, uh, when I tagged Sony in my photo photography stuff, they yeah. followed me on Twitter. Well, you had the that's Storo it. one. Don't oh, and that. Storo. So I've had three big, big. big time Twitter moments recently. Oh, I need to look at mine. Sony follow. Storo Parkour retweeted my uh, sweet box jump. Sometimes Henry replies to me on Twitter with swamp <sighs> requests. Yeah. That's, that's about it. Henry and his swamp ass. <laughs> He's just lived there for the past. He's living in Malta, of course. <laughs> Scare's just oh. periodically damp. Mir, periodically dank, gets the head on Beamass. <laughs> and uh, that one org, I was about to call it the double orp, but it is just an org. And goodness, Whoa. Mir is playing with fire. The counter to which is frozen. Streaking across middle. the pitch right there. Drops. No slouch in the palace lurk. SDY trained on his position with that org as well. Oh, perfect flashbangs. SDY reveals, but quickly chopper found. Magic's as well onto Chris. This is getting intense now, because two from B, but SDY still exists. They know where they know what he does this whole time. They boost over the smoke. This is good. <gasps> and a tag. It's not the frag they was hoping for. Oh. And Carrigan's hit magic's. Okay, so this gets interesting. Disbalance has the capacity to dunk nade, but now he's lost it. Flash and forced Carrigan. him back, and yeah, this looks bad for Disbalance. Does fire off the warning shot. Nade confirms Frozen's relocated. Still worried about it, isn't he? He's clutched before, but this one would be a little bit beyond. This could be a 10-5 finish. This could be... A, could. Uh, <laughs> I want to see like five rounds. orbs off the spawn. They've got so much cash. I, I thought that, you know, nine or 10 would probably be enough for Spirit. I, I want as many as they can get. I mean, we've seen that T side. I, I'm, I don't have full faith in it yet. I think we've seen the kind of bad side of it. Maybe that's, that's been on the improvements list. Uh, Frozen, as he's finished shooting off that kill onto STY, cops the bullet through the box there and goes down to 9 HP. That could have been the complete difference maker of that round. So final round of play here, round number 15 for the first half, and everybody has what they need. Money are plenty on both sides. AWP on either side. Hunter Spallance and Carrigan again. Org out for SDI, SDY once more, and Mir being a bit of a nuisance over towards middle. So nothing new here. The continued jiggle for middle, the flashes for info, a minute 25 on the clock, and they're more than happy to retain this information as long as Mouse Sports doesn't apply pressure. Window smoke now. Mir is going to have to reconsider his options. Nade, a little bit too early in picking. Bionis will be taking him down, and Carrigan onto Chopper. So things looking good for Mouse Sports here. Yeah, mid's all theirs. Gateway open. Magic's going to put himself towards the back of window. Double smoke towards window again. Uh, maybe a couple of issues here and there, but it doesn't seem to matter too much if they're heading towards B. So far, yes, the pick did come in for disbalance, but the site's open, and as we saw, Magic's was at the back by window. So it's still going to be a bit of a tricky retake, and look at that lurk from Rob's See, ever uh... present. Sometimes Young did just find BMAS. Maybe there's a little bit of life in this one. Bear in mind, we'll have to see what Rob's can do. Let's see why gets him. Good. Oh, no, Rob's was ready. And now disbalanced, caught in the off angle. Carrigan finds his 
Fourth frag, doubles his scoreline in the 15th. My goodness. It's 10 to 5, folks. Team Spirit, six rounds away from 2 0 in the series. We'll see all of you in that fan zone when we return. What's going on, everybody? We're back for 10 5 half. Team Spirit on Mirage. It is the pick of Mouse, and already we've seen a fair few ups and downs. Disbalance 15 frags alongside Mir, who are definitely pulling the strings and controlling the pace. Rob's a slight shining beacon for Mouse, but we need more. I say we, myself, Pansy, and Spun J. Hello. Not playing the game. I'm not going to take the bait on that one. Don't worry about it. I just wanted you to say hello. Hi. Like, Thank you. you know, well, not Q. It was Countdown or wherever they go around the table. It's like, and here's Dave from Edmonton. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Exactly. <laughs> like Wave and like Dermot O'Leary. <laughs> All right. Smokes towards A and away we go. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too beyond imagination. Nice little smoke towards Connect Up. That keeps out the vast majority of the CT. Oh, so, yeah. whoops. Uh, this, this isn't Inferno again. Yeah, um, but this time Magix is already starting to connect with a P250. An armored P250 for one of the stronger aimers from the region. Ooh, and one of them just got eliminated. SDY trades. Frozen's gone. Carrigan was on short. Chopper dealing with Robs on the stairs and distracted enough for SDY to profit. Carrigan. Chris J. No smoke kit, though. Closing in on that connected jewel. Carrigan needs this cleanly. Oh. And SDY with reactions. Very nice stuff. Chris J with a chance. 
It's minimal, has the kit. Can't find the bomb. Oh, it's open plant. Fakes it out, Chopper checks and confirms. Magic doesn't need to move a muscle. Magic will not move a muscle. Magic still <laughs> stands his ground. Spirit take 11 and triple kill from SDY to get them out of the gate. The funny thing is with those SDY kills, he hits all the hard ones, all the heads up ones, and then as soon as he picks and the player's not looking in his direction, he misses. And that once again builds into the constant storyline we tell of just how difficult it is to shoot people in the back on the pistol rounds. Now the question, does Mount Sports go for the force buy? We've seen Rops invest with the Deagle, Carrigan with the HE, and well, that looks like that's it for this round. So Mouse are playing it relatively conservative. And if you remember Inferno, they did the same thing. They had more of a standard round for round number two. Did they have that weird buy at one point? Yeah, like, and then round number three, BMAS had the M4 and everybody else had Deagles. So I want to see what it looks like as we move into round 18. This one, unless Rops can go absolutely bananas. Or grapes or apples. Love a grape at the moment. Yeah, have I'm you ever dabbled them. in the frozen grapes? Yes. Okay. Do it. The red grapes, seedless. Uh, have you noticed that? There's my downside with frozen grapes is they become a big mushy, kind of gross, half frozen mess if you don't finish the whole. Oh, thing. I only do half. I'll leave half in my fridge for if I want a fresh. Ah, you know, but you are I'll, I'll one treat. banging the whole. What do you call them? A bunt? Uh, uh, there's a word for I think them. It is. It isn't. No, it's not a bunt. It's a bunch. No. Bunch of bundle? grapes? No, it's got a fancy a bindle. Thing. It's a bindle of grapes. Oh, oh, oh. There is something where it's like in a basket it's of... It's a... Not a bushel of grapes. It's a barnet of grapes. It's a... Barnet? No, it's not. <laughs> what do you call those little Help containers? chat, chat. You know what? I believe I don't in ask that. I don't have Help. that no, vocab. Chad. chat. No, they do. They're smart. Grapes. In, in like a group of... Basket name. I was thinking punnet. That's it. Is that it? It's a punnet of grapes. Isn't that a punnet of strawberries? Well, it could be anything. Could, uh, the punnet's well, the, the, the thing that facilitates a it. A small, light basket or container for fruit and vegetables. A punnet of strawberries. of strawberries. Just a good example of it. Never heard punnet of grapes. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying I've never heard it. I mean, yeah, it's just you typically what you would receive your grapes in. In fact, I've mm. got a picture here, Chad, if you want to crane your neck Perfect. over of 250 grams of grapes in a punnet. He's, um, he is actually up. coming over. Yeah, he is inspecting. Yeah. I, I acknowledge primarily raspberries, primarily strawberries, even yeah. a, even a cheeky blue. Yep. But I do okay. see. Oh uh, yeah, no. I do All see right. A, a great punnet, punnet right as there. well. All right. Well, from punnet to uh, wow. There you go. I like. Punnet strike. I like to give myself a challenge. I just wanted to see if I could find anything that rhymed uh, just off the top of my head. From punnet to uh, pundit. Pundit. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Yeah. You see. You just got to give yourself challenges that eventually don't work out. <laughs> Round 18, just the second map of the day and already feeling like it is certainly going to be an uphill struggle for Mouse Sports. I imagine, like imagine they've got Fairy Liquid all the way up the hill and they're wearing flip-flops. Well, if they have both flip-flops, they might be having a better day than I. Yeah, lost a flip-flop today, or as the Australians call it, a thong. Yeah. My friend Chad lost his thong today. I can say that with a straight face. Flashes. Rob's fragging, should be two. Perfect flash, sets him up for the play. It was Chris J to take one, chopper out early. What's he up to? Garrigan collects a freebie. And this one will just peter off into nothingness. Magic spotted in towards his palace of luck. He's just going to try and get the hell out of Dodge. Disbalance perhaps could rock this boat a little bit. This is the perfect round for my magic number of three. Because Mousebots haven't built a bank just yet, if three frags are able to come on through from Ida's balance and magics combined, they will limit the buy of mouse sports going into the next. But I don't think Ida's balance is going to be checking that cheeky corner as Rops will finish him off. And now it is just Boris, the brutalizer. Watch him go. What? Two more for us, Bori. You heard him. Nose BMAS is on that ladder. BMAS is trying to bait him to look at his direction with that sound cue. Pretty set of nades though. Molotov, two flashes, a HE. Holy dark. Go on, I want to see BMAS fly up that ladder all panicked like. Oh, this is naughty. Oh. Let's get another frag. What does yeah. well to find it? I just want to highlight Stuchlet who got the word instantly. So well done, member in chat. Douchelet. Well Shout done. out to you and your punnet knowledge. Mm, Respect. We'll actually send you some ESL-branded punnet of grapes yep. over to you. Uh, just be sure to... Uh, Gosh, I hope you live close to yeah. where we're sending them from. Oh, no, it's fine. I mean, it's totally approved. Uh, we're doing a, a, a grape, grape giveaway. It's grape! <laughs> there used to be a, a gentleman named Stens who owned a fruit company back in Australia, and he, for some reason, started liking Counter-Strike and started running tournaments in Queensland. Mm. 
and uh, he was a, he still sells fruit today. So if you're in Queensland, buy some Sten's apples. There's a really tight laws in Japan that stop you from having eSport competitions. So one of the biggest tournaments there, they just do a huge giveaway of fish. You, would, you basically have a fish dinner if you win. It's pretty cool. It is. It's win, very win popular. A fish dinner. I yeah, like exactly. that. Nice ideas. A 3v4, though. I want to see if there's any wiggle room here. Where can they make any space? I know where. One. I don't want to tell you. Oh. Spoil it. <laughs> They've picked up the two AKs top middle. So here's some space that we're talking about with better weapons. So I just balance and chop. I just went from deagles to AKs. Quite the upgrade. Let me tell you that much. And back over to A, they will quickly scurry. Having to deal with BMAS on the site is going to be difficult because Overseeing is Carrigan with that org. So jump peeking at the moment, he'll be the bait. BMAS lying in wait, should be able to grab himself one kill. They got a smoke, four flashes, a Molotov. Perfect placement from these will give them at least a better clue on where to look. But it looks like they're playing contact. I'd love to see BMAS just bide his time here. Element of surprise is everything. And just balance gets spotted, that's the bomb. Carrigan will communicate that. That should be the bomb drop. Bemis chooses to leave his hidey hole. Magix reveals his location and now a chance, but Chopper squandered. Frozen frags in 12 to 7. Mouseports are getting themselves into the CT half. That's two consecutive rounds they needed that. Starting to get their fraggers online as well. Double digits required from all of them. Still yet to see Carrigan, Chris and Bemis join them in the fragging department. But down to just the 2k. Spirit likely will have to just swallow their pride on this one. Maps a flash, perhaps an attempt at a plant, but even that's on the high end. Yeah, this might just be one of those around the world, better at the utility. It's not too much they will be able to get done here. Mir has the Deagle, so we saw what he was able to contribute in the first half with that $700 hand cannon. I want to do a run boost with SDY and Magix to open space for Mir to see if he can punish. That will be Carrigan jiggle peeking between window and underpass with the jump, keeping himself mobile. This is going to be a very difficult shot to hit. If it was, Mir would have to have a perfect timing. Appreciate a little bit more passive over towards the cap position, and so far Rop's not worrying about looking towards middle whatsoever. So here comes the run boost. That gives Mir the chance to pick. Kagan only has a USP. Hmm. Trying to get his money in yeah. line with the, uh, the front runners. And a flusher. A flusher. Flusher. So um, waterfall out of apps could be uh, effective if they get something with Mir's deagle here, like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me another. Kagan's trying to get the gun. Oh, he's been able to, get to swipe it away. Should be the plant. Could be. Could have been. Maybe. No, oh, just balance. Yes. Magix has got the necessary frag. There is a CT, though. Beamus on CT. He's opting for the fresh reload. They will hit pause here, hoping that the CTs don't <gasps> their corners. Yeah. Another? Okay, Mir is an absolute he's open. demon. And he is taking all of that B space. Look at this balance. He's running all the way through. Magix is actually in a prime position to stop the rotation. Oh, oh my God. And Team Spirit are doing it with just Glocks. Not again for Mouse Sports. This is going to be another heartbreak. To get through, he has to find Magix. It's not going to be fun. A flash, a smoke. He doesn't want to use any of it. He's just hoping to catch the timing. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Three surviving. That was all just Mir's Deagle opening. That's all that was. Yeah, but the only investment into that round was a Desert Eagle. I just love how they were able to exploit all of those like awkward rotations so yeah. they leave one there. Okay, Mir's going to post up Boom. towards Ladder. As soon as they get that pressure towards Kerrigan, right, Mir's in for it. Okay, let's pop old Magix in the, in the best spot now. Catch the others from A as we go to B. Oh. The coolest thing about this was the fact that when Carrigan had to rotate away from window, Magix took the gap off the bench immediately. SDY and Magix both pressured. There's also A plays coming in. They want to deny the plant that Alex was talking about. So Carrigan's now having to worry about A site, connector, and window. And now their money is trashed here. As they... Cream cracker, Chad. Absolutely creamed. Carrigan. Balance Dead. takes his head off. Trying for some mid aggression with that org. Rob's happy to take the upgrade and will scarper away just before. Chopper makes it clear he's heading from the underpass of Run Boost and a flying through the sky disbalance doesn't see anything. Smokes will be deployed. One connector, one window. Mid is theirs and they can take all of that space for free. What's the go from here then, Chad? You thinking that mid to B wrap with SDY's position? 
Yeah, he just has to be very, very late. If he gets tagged up here by Chris J, that's going to mean his prong of the attack will be taken on down. So flushing on over, that gives them... Well, it's a smoke, actually, over towards the window positions. This is good for the players coming up. Catwalk, Chris J spotted. He's in trouble. We finish off the one frag, and more tags being distributed by Chris. So he's making that scout really quite deadly. Another tag. Chris, so good at dump dumping the damage, but it's not lethal yet. Frozen. That one was. SDY's knocked him on his ass. Magic's to plant. Bemis wants to contest. He's impressed us on this he site already, and he has just about got there in time. SDY, though, deletes him. And poor old Rops. Nowhere to go. Grim scenes. Isn't no it? shelter in this storm. Spirit continuing to lay down the law. 14 now, just seconds away from being confirmed. It is an ugly gun, isn't it, the org? Like, I don't think there's, you know, if there were guns and you were picking them. Not that. You know, like this one walks down the catwalk, people are like, mm, yes, it's very um, avant garde. That's Steuer, Steuer, Steuer org. Steuer org? Is that ugly? It's, it's the, I think it's the brand of it. Oh, it's the brand. Oh, no, you, you're doing your nerdy gun knowledge. Yeah, it's the old bullpup assault rifle. Bullpup assault rifle. Rush, am I right? You're as nerdy as I am sometimes. Uh, yes, that is a bullpup rifle. You know it's a bullpup by the uh, the way the magazine is loaded in behind the uh, pistol mm. grip, mm. I believe. And I'm probably going to get uh, people saying that's not true now. <laughs> but uh, I You think made a dangerous Welcome name. to the internet, yes. Rush. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Mouse bots, no money, no hope. Just rops and the bullpup. Bullpup. It's quite satisfying to say. Bullpup. Yeah, I do like that. <laughs> well, we, we saw a weird round work out before. I just haven't seen Mouse Wars do it today, I don't think. They had one on the T side of Inferno, Was I it? think. Yeah. Yeah, they managed to a split, but otherwise, they, they lost the map, so we'll forget about mm. that one right there. This one feels very, very difficult to see how Mousebots could be winning it. Multiple kills through ROPS would probably be the only avenue. Frozen with a deagle could also chip on in, but the USPs for BMAS, Carrigan, and Chris J probably not going to net too much unless Team Spirit limp on in single-handedly or individually. Uppity over? Yeah, bitter. Up what are next? Oh, uh -oh. he's been heard. Oh, no. <laughs> Get out of there. Yeah, rethink Pull that, that one. off. Chris J. Or I should say the Dutchman, formerly known as Chris J, eliminated Mir with a double as well. Rops has his head rocked. Frozen looking a little nervous as the uh, Mir hunt continues into B. Ooh, there you go, some revenge. Ooh, spots disbalance as well. Eh? So that is going to make Carrigan at least convinced that his flank is worthwhile. Meanwhile, they all pivot into A, four of them now on the site. Five seconds later, they are going to jump and check their corners. And Nice work again from Chopper. I am really starting to be converted into the team spirit uh, way of thinking. I can definitely uh, get behind a playoff run from them. It'd be nice to see some CIS underdogs Ooh. doing what they used to do just at the majors. Mm. They always used to be a CIS name or two causing an upset. Carrigan will get himself an AWP. I feel like we need the replacement. Was it Hellraisers? He was always around, wasn't he? Mega Squadron, Hellraisers, yep. yep. Windstrike. We've always had them. Yeah. Gambit. Oh, true. A Vanguard. I think the... Oh, a Vanguard. What the hell's happened to them? We haven't seen them in Dude, forever. Do you remember when, when they were in a major final? Yeah. Well, there's been a couple of those. Major finals. There's not, there haven't actually been that many great ones. That's no, do you think it's because our format sucks or are we Always just unlucky? Um, I think it's because our format sucks a little bit and yeah. they don't reseed the brackets to set up good yeah. matchups. Yeah. Mm. So I, obviously they shouldn't necessarily reseed in Swiss, but I think if we just had like a double elimination bracket off the door, meh. It's, it's, it's a hard question. It is really it hard. Is hard. Yeah, there's no it easy is. answer. But it is that like classic like tradition that the semifinals absolutely bang and then the finals are just kind of one-sided. Yeah. Even and he get in a best of five too. She's sat there like, Christ, all right. But here's what it is. That's how, that's how the game goes down. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, but I think that Spirit are going to win this game. Whoa, Chad. Uh, Chad. Seriously, Chad, could you calm down, please? Stop being such a biased... Biased as hell, Master. dude. Round 23, what? still seven whole rounds to play with. And it is seven uh, series points for Spirit. So, of course, this jokes aside, this is de definitely looking like a curtain call for Mouse Sports. 
Feels like the best we've seen Spirit on the T side in a while, though. And I don't know if that's credit to them for the adjustments or if it's Mouse not quite being there today. It's hard to quantify again because Mouse are in that state of flux slightly, where it's like we've seen them beat great teams, but then also, you know, suffer a little here and there. But Spirit have looked better on the T side than we've seen in the tournament thus far. I was a little worried seeing Mirage, but hey. Well, the pistol round helps, Lauren, and having Mir destroy with the Deagle also yes. uh, is, is a good nice step benefit. in the right direction. So they only need to nut out one more gun round here. And as we see them set up, it is going to be the A finish. Two through the palace position. Maybe three. three. Yeah, SDY making his way on over as well. This is a different approach, and the gamble stack has been called for mouse spot, so they should be able to make this a competitive round. One. Only one. Now Chris J and Frozen going to be called upon. Molly comes in. Smoke has to come out. That's massive from Chopper, though, but plays in towards the man sitting in jungle well enough. This looks like it's been controlled so far. As I disbalance is your only one alive. The Deagle's done well. Oh. Yes. Oh. Almost, almost had to eat my words there, but controlled well in the end with uh, old Ropsy. One drop required. Magic's the one to distribute that to Mr. Balance. Mr. Balance. Chop up. SDY all equipped. So this was the chance, actually. You can see Rob's kind of saving the day by finding that frag into Chopper. Didn't cause too many issues after that. So that was the rescue mission. No need more of that. Six more, to be specific, from Mouse Sports if they want to take this one. It looks like they want to do the same again, but with pace. Bemis no longer in his power oh. position. A disbalance has caught Carrigan on the trade. Bemis, surely they're going to check him. Chopper does, but a little lackadaisical. Magix wants to swing in and does right. knock him off his perch. Very effective fragger is Mr. Magic's Brutalizer. 20 frags already. Chris J's chasing Mir. They had a fight top middle, and then Chris J was searching for him, and Mir's gone all the way around to B. It is the open plan, so keep Mir in mind in this two-on-three situation. If I disbalance and Magic's go down on the site, Mir can come in clutch. There is a smoke in Chris J's hands. Ouch. Well, they're both going around the world. This is bonkers. No, Disbalance realizes he has to do something a bit sooner, but Chris Chase already there waiting, so now Mir has to clutch up. Oh, gosh, this gets awkward now. He's got a smoke as well. He's Mir. got a lineup too, right? Oh, he can't get oh. him. Oh. Defuse. Perfect stuff from Chris J. Nine for Mouse, and that it just goes tumbling down out of control. It looked like it was perfect, absolutely perfect, but... Spallance didn't really know where he wanted to go with that one. And Chris J's position catching him off guard gives Mousebots another lease of life. Five more as they continue their countdown. This was one of the fights that Frozen really did need to win. It was just a brief exchange with Magix. Yeah, that one was overthought a little bit, I think, right there. So Mousebots with five rounds left to play. Might be able to do this. Might be able to get themselves into overtime. Six rounds left to play. All right, what do we have to work with? Techers for some die young, then deagles galore. Bit of armor, some die young and chopper opting to get a little bit safer. No initial damage being dealt either. These two towards palace could have some fun with Beamus. He does have friends over here though, mostly in the form of Carrigan. I've really been liking this A side in the last couple of rounds here. Carrigan misses his shot while posted up. Bimas could be overrun. We've seen him stand and deliver from this balcony position in the previous matchup that they played on Mirage. Amir has gotten over towards middle, finding himself up and towards the vent room, searching for some frags. Rushes the vent broken. Go to eight POV. Okay, the vent is broken. So Bimas takes down Chopper. Was that the lurk, they asked themselves. Mir's going to make them think it was if he can oh take a head off dear. B. Look at this space Fine. he's managed to get. Oh. Lucky frozen picks that otherwise could have got up close and personal towards window and taken Christian out of the equation who was looking towards apartments. This one looks like it's been well handled from Mouse. Yeah, I mean, the one way back in would be if Carrigan got deagled in the face, but uh, that's actually happened. Rob's. Bemis keeping things under wraps. No issues here. Looks like Bemis is even in a position to fight. Good round. Three kills from Bemis needed that. Good to see him. Taking over. 15 now to 10 as they get their weapons back out for the Russian squad. 
I will be interested to know if it's near the A finish, considering their uh, last few, few attempts have been orientating towards the south side of the map. Nice shot there from Disbalance. Mystic Meg Alex out there, just almost creating something. Could have been cool. Is this quick? I'm seeing Mir and Disbalance pretty swift up middle, and Chris Chase met that with sheer force. But now Mir has to carry on, and there's a flash, and it's done very nicely by Rops. As that mid piece, that little section of this hit has suddenly been colored for the knees, and Bimas, it's all about timing, and it's gone pretty well for him. That's two, and the third oh, to follow. Bimas, worth his weight in gold. Beautiful gaming from Bimas there. Multi kills, definitely one of his strong suits. Multiple targets, decision making, split second decision making. Did have to uh, let one of his teammates fall to Chopper, but you can see he makes up for it in buckets and spades there. And from buckets and spades to building what is quite the comeback, Mouse Sports are now on their way. Another three rounds of play. Make it four. Okay, Window and Cat Smoke coming on out here. Nades towards mid to sell the fake that it will be a standard play, but it is the B execute coming on through. Noise towards underpass from Chopper, potentially keeping Chris J more interested in middle than he should be. But it's going to be Mr. Frozen over towards the B side of things on the van right now. He's going to have to deal with these Team Spirit players. He needs more than one. He's reloading right now. They haven't capitalized on that sound cue. Flashes are going on in, and here we go. Yeah, he's tucked in low. They drop into the side. Magix is hunting with a spray from Frozen. Gets him both. Finally, silence, but damage inflicted. It's only Chopper and Mir. Very little they'll be able to achieve. Mir's on the other side of the map. And that's why Chopper's pausing. Bemus is ready, though. He's always ready, is Bemus. Good shot into the first. Lost a lot of his health, though, and so Chopper will meet his logical conclusion. Our sport's starting to really build in now. That's five in a row. I think three rounds ago, Bemus had 10 kills. Now he's all the way up to 17. So quickly finding impact on this second half. Carrigan and Chris J are down the bottom now with 12 and 11, respectively. And the AWP will come out for Idis Balance once more. So running out of chances now at Team Spirit. The loss bonus has built up. It will be max 3,400 in the following if they do lose this. So getting the bomb down needs to be one of the keys if the round starts to go a little bit skew if. Four, trucking over towards the top middle. It's dry. They want to take the fights. Well, this is bold. Smoke towards connected too. That's going to make it trickier. Do have Chris J playing towards ladder. Could swing if required. Rop's going to try and keep check on it, but... Early mollies came through, forced them away from window. They don't dare go back. But mid is in the control of the T side. Just depends on where they want to take this now. That's where. Oh. Into the loving arms of Chris, but only good for one. This still leaves a little bit of a vulnerability towards Frozen, who has been calm under pressure, who had dealt well with it. But maybe they changed their mind. Still no true intention shown, maybe excluding some die young, getting over towards the B apartments. Bimas still in that same position towards the balcony over towards A. So if they decide to go back, they really have to deal with this youngster. It failed twice. Will third time be the charm that you can get through the Bimas wall? Every time they've come through his palace position, he's got two, if not three, frags. This time he's opting for the Tetris position, but it is a very powerful angle. If he wants to use that box to elevate and if Mir doesn't find him first, okay, so this this could be difficult. Mir will not be vulnerable to the shadow advantage, at least not to a larger extent. And peeks in, held by Bemus. Looking for more, anticipating more. Palace also a threat. He knows he can elevate on that box. And he does just that with a spray, a phenomenal spray. Bemus again, a triple kill. You can't come to his site when he is just in form, folks. 15 <laughs> to 13. Bemis on 20 frags now. Pressure, clearly a problem. How did he get on that lip? Look, that's not a jump. Look, that's just gaming. I, he's just clearly, if you slam yourself into that corner, you get a little extra lip. I didn't know that. Today I learned. So the question mark in this timeout here for Spirit, actually they're first in this map, is do we go for the all-in right now or do we just go with the partial? And Astralis versus Fnatic coming up later today. If Spirit win this game, they want Astralis to be winning that game and that'll secure them for the playoffs. So important matches all throughout this Friday. Uh, Denmark flying the Astralis flag. You can go catch it over on the uh, CSGO subreddit, of course. Looks pretty damn cool. 
of a national treasure, those boys. But let's see what Spirit do. Another shot at this, and do you dare go back to Bemis? This guy has proven time and time again he's got your number. And this time, though, they've got Tech Nines. Plenty of util, though. This isn't a light ash of it. No, no, no. This is a good amount there. This could be a full set piece with all the mollies over towards Sandwich, the firebox. The smoke's come out initially. The Molotovs are getting lined up now. One, two, three mollies in every corner now. Coat is in fire. Rops pushes up for this. He's up for the challenge. Holds down Mouse. One oh. but a team kill. It could be a bit of it's a problem. It's Bemis again, line. Lauren. Oh no, not again. Yep, double. Make it a triple. Bemis delivers the triple kill delivery service online since the second half. Bemis does it again. Final round of regulation, folks. We are nearly there. Overtime on the cards and Uno Dos. And it's your host for the next series, Trace. So the guns will be out for Spirit. That was just the partial investment right there, knowing the max loss bonus was in play. They can have guns if we get it to overtime as well. So let's see what they can get done here. Looks like over towards middle, they'll truck. Leading the charge will be SDY. Molotov towards connector. Just the standard default utility spread right now. Smoke towards the back of cap. They jump on out. They need to find some fights. They need to find some picks. They've already found that space. Playing around these smokes. It's Carrigan on the other side so far. Smoke again. They look towards Palace. He knows he might be getting some pressure his way. Willing to take the fight. A little cautious of magics, though. Great to have Beamus there, but he's not going to be proactively holding. He will be passively holding. He's been holding that so damn well. Oh, he's still left for the T, so they could isolate him here towards dark. Flashes coming in from mid, and they're up. Already crossing through. Oh, this time he's gone down. It's the first time oh, in no. a while, as if they dared to go back towards A. I can't believe it. I mean, you, ca you can't expect Bemis to do it every round, but he has been. This time, finally, they silence the beast on A. Frozen trying to rotate in, but disbalance is ready, and they just finally break through. Relentless aggression. Spirit have done it. Into Mouseports putting up their very...